Today I'm going to show you how to replace your hard disk drive on an HP DV5 1017NR and before we do that we have to make sure it's disconnected the laptop has to be unplugged and also the battery has to be removed so I'm going to remove the battery um, here is where the hard drive is located as you can see HP Protect Smart there are two screws I'm going to unscrew them and the second one okay, and then it pops out I think I have to unscrew it a little more alright now we see is the hard drive take this flap right here and we're going to pull it out and we're going to remove this connector right here. Um, just like this. I don't know if you can see it. Here's the hard drive. It's a WD, which was originally there. So I can't do this with one hand. I'm going to try to lay it right here. Okay, so I had to pause right there. Uh, how you remove is you had to remove uh, one side right here. See right here? And remove it like this. And you have to remove, I uh, removed it, sorry, and you have to move on the other side. So now the hard drive is removed. Now we have to take these screws out on the sides. These screws have to be removed. So, um, so it's one two, three, and four. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause this, so after unscrewing I'll show you. Okay, so now the screws have been removed, and basically the hard drive is easy to remove. As you can see, here's what it looks like. Um, this has failed on my computer. It I even did a check. It said that the hard disk drive one is the problem. So here is a new hard drive that I got uh, today. It's called the Seagate one terabyte uh, solid state hybrid drive. And it's sort of a little difficult to open. So, order this at Amazon. Sorry about that. Here it is. This is the hard drive from Seagate. And it's a package without a box. It says a thousand gigabyte, so I'm assuming that's one telabyte. And it also has a NAND memory as well. So this has the anti static. Oh, by the way, the screws are right over here, just to let you know. Alright, so we're going to open this package. Just hold it. Okay. okay, so here's the package, and here's the uh, actually the 
hard uh, solid state hybrid drive and I'm gonna put it on the four screws and remember that it has to face down just like this and it should be able to fit um, you know what let me put it the other way so it is much easier to install because this flap right here is actually enclosed and I'm gonna screw these back so I'm gonna pause this video okay so now I have screwed the new Seagate laptop solid state hybrid drive um, if you notice that uh, there are additional connections um, the most important connection is the one that's on the uh, top those uh, four the one with the four pins uh, don't connect to that one because it won't fit so I'm going to try to connect it right here and you have to insert it with the according to the right side left side first so okay so now it's connected now we're going to put the hard drive back into how it was flap will go in somehow it looks a little too big I don't know what it is oh I think I have to insert it like this and then these two go down yeah it's a snug fit compared to the other drive so really snug fit now we can put back the cover and screw back and uh, screw back these screws that noise is um, oh, sticked out a little Now we'll try it again. All right. Now it has fit flush. Now all we have to do is start it up and reboot it. So I'm going to connect it and maybe I'll connect this one to reboot it. Okay, I hear the hard drive running. Okay, it says HP Invent. Boot up. Boot device not found. Please install an operating system on your hard disk. Uh, F2. So we have to boot it up. Alright. Um, so let's do the system information. Serial number. So let's do the startup test. See if it works.
Probably a hard to self test. It's gonna take some time. Actually, this old hard disk drive, which was 320 gigs, um, this one had the same connections too. So. This may take more time, but uh, they have to press uh, system. All right, so I may have to uh, install an operating system, but I have showed you how to uh, replace a hard disk drive on the HP DV5 1017NR um, but I'll find a video on how to boot this up thanks for watching